Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is New Orleans Baby Girl, aka Beautiful Sunrise Williams. I'm coming to you with another idea I came up with just being bored here on this Sunday. Actually, it's a Sunday night, and I'm not going to tell you guys what time it is because it's really late. Okay? All right, we got some chicken wings here. So, what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get them seasoned, okay? And we're going to get them, we're going to get them um, uh, done up, put them in the oven, okay? So the idea I have today, we're going to have almost like a, a barbecue flavored, but we're going to touch it up with this. Look at this, look at this. Not sure if you're used to that. This is a drink that I bought on a cruise. And I've never used it. I'm just now opening it. I took a swig of it. Drink wise, it was pretty good. And very strong. <laughs> so we're only going to do a shot glass of that, okay? Into our barbecue sauce and see what kind of flavoring it gives. We're going to add a little lick of smoke today. We're going to do our Worcestershire sauce. We're going to do our little brown sugar. And we're going to do our seasoning. So um, these wings are already um, clean, very good. I, I soaked them in the apple cider vinegar. And then rinsed them off really, really good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do our garlic powder. Right here. All right. And then we're going to do our onion powder. So I'm not sure what I'm going to call these wings yet, but hey, we know they're going to be good. We're going to do a little bit of accent for our southerners that know about that accent. We're going to do, I don't have any more cayenne pepper because I love my cayenne pepper. We're going to do a little crushed peppers, okay? Put a little spice to it. Give a little spice, spice. See, I'm shaking and shaking and shaking and shaking it. Um, my grandmother taught me how to cook with sage. Sage tastes good. And ground beef and on chicken. Okay, so let me see if I'm missing anything. Oh, we know we got to get my Cajun season. Okay, like so. Where that Tony? That Tony. Okay. And um, let's see what else we're missing. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, nope. I like to put a little cumin on there now. Cumin is good for you to cook for you. I mean, to cook with. It's really um, known in a lot of Mexican dishes. But um, I looked up and it is very, very good for you. Okay. We're going to put a little crushed... Uh, pepper okay like so all right and then we're gonna do that Worcestershire sauce you see that mm-hmm that's gonna be like part of our marinade okay and then we're gonna do a little liquid smoke these are a lot of wings so as you can see I'm trying to Make sure. Okay. So we just gonna get this all mixed up in there. Okay. 
And what I like to do is just to make sure it's seasoned. I'm going to go back over it. And this is my garlic powder. I don't really go back over it with um, anything that has kind of like salt in it. <clears throat> That's my fresh peppers. Okay. And I'm trying to debate if I want to put this in the bag and let it marinate for a minute. I might do that. This is the onion powder. I'm not going to put no more sage because sage is kind of a strong dress, um, strong seasoning. So you don't have to put that much on that. Okay, so as you can see, look at that. Season real well. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to trans, I am going to transfer it over to a bag. Okay. I may not be able to get all of this in here. Hold on. Let me see. Let's go put, let's put it in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to put these wings in a Ziploc bag. I think I may be able to get them all in here. Yeah, I'm going to be able to get them all in here. And plus the marinade. Just going to pour that in here. Okay. Set that off to the side. As you can see. We're going to let that sit. Okay. Now we're going to put this barbecue sauce on over there. So you can see what I'm doing here. All right. Now this is that sweet baby raise, baby. What you know about that? That sweet baby raise. So we're going to go ahead and put some brown sugar. We're going to also put a little dab of liquid smoke. Okay. Like so. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the shot glass of this good old liqueur and this is in let me show you and my little texas shot glass Ooh -wee. look at that look at that I'm going to do another half a glass, just a half, another half a glass of that liqueur, okay, just in case it bakes on out. All right, so let's do this. Ooh, you know what, you can see that. Can you see that? Can you see that liquor? Can you see that liquor? I'm gonna put some more barbecue sauce in there. And we're gonna put some of that. Oop, sweet baby rays.
Okay. So we're just going to do that so we can taste it. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <Ooh. laughs> wow. That's all I can keep saying is wow. So we have the wings right here. We're going to place them in the um, refrigerator. Let them marinate for, we're going to do like 20 minutes, okay? And we'll be back. And we're going to let this barbecue sauce sit in its goodness, okay? And we'll be back. So what I did right here, I put it in a Ziploc bag. And I put some barbecue sauce on it. And the marinade that was already, um, that was already in there. And I'm going to let it marinate for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to put it in the pan and put it in the oven. So as you can see, we already mixed in our liquor, our brown sugar, a little bit of liquid smoke, the sweet baby ray sauce, and again, this is what we, oh, let me see if I can get it in a screenshot. This is what we're using. Okay. This is what we're using as an additive to our, our wings. So um, what I've done is I put, put it in a marinade. I'm going to let it sit in a um, refrigerator for 30 minutes. It has some of the barbecue sauce on it and some of the things that you saw I prepared early on with it. Um, it's sitting in a Ziploc bag for 30 minutes into, in, in the refrigerator. And then we're going to take them out and put them in the pan and then put them in the oven okay uh the barbecue sauce here we got that's the base it with later on okay so it's an idea that i got i drunk some of this wine uh well actually it's a tequila to be honest with you it's a form of a tequila was well, made with tequila it's a liqueur and um a, a few years um several years ago i went on a cruise and i bought that and I was like, oh, let me just bust this open. I drunk some of it. And I was like, oh, this tastes like a wine slash bourbon slash a little bit of everything. So it's really good. So I was like, okay, well, then let me do this. Let me go ahead and use that in some barbecue wings. And let's see what, let's see what, let's see what that does. Okay. So as you know, I'm beautiful Sunrise Williams. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, just hit the button at the bottom if you like this video like like it and share it please i'm trying to get up to a thousand viewers so if you have any friends or family members that like to see great home cooking um just go ahead and send them my video i really appreciate it um and also um hit the bell but uh, the bell at the bottom because the bell is actually going to let you know every time i upload so um so i'll um as soon as we let that marinate for about 30 minutes then you'll see how I get everything worked up. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. We let it marinate for about... We let each piece marinate for about... Well, it's in the bag. And it marinated for like 40 minutes, okay? About 40. So now we're just going to lay it down in here. And we have the oven on uh, 350, but we actually going to turn it up a bit, about, I said about 375, and it smells delicioso. It has not cooked, but you can smell the seasoning and the marinade, and it already smells good. So, and get each piece up in here. And we're going to pour the marinade on top. So, 
So you can actually let it uh, soak for a little while longer or marinate for a little while longer if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Because I want to get this ball on the roll, I'll let it sit for about almost 40 minutes, okay? Okay, so now what we're going to do is just pour the marinade on top. Okay. Like so. And I'm going to get the rest of the marinade. I'm just going to put a little water in the bag. And um, what we're going to do from here, I'm going to put it around us. We're going to put aluminum foil on top. And we're going to let it go. For, I'm thinking, I say about, hmm. I think we should let it go for about, Forty five, fifty minutes. Okay. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of the barbecue sauce on now. On the pieces that the water kinda took the sauce off. Okay. So we're gonna cover this with aluminum foil and let it cook about fifty to an hour. Actually, I'm going to let it go for an hour. Okay, so we got everything um, in the oven and covered with the aluminum foil. And we're going to set the timer for an hour. And I'll show you how it looks after an hour. Okay. So we're going to have it covered for an hour. One hour, we're going to let it cook covered and I put it on 375 I kind of cranked it up from 350 to 375 so we're going to cook it for an hour on 375 and then we're going to take the cover off and and um and let it cook for maybe another 15-20 minutes without the cover and then um we'll base it um with the barbecue sauce okay <clears throat> just wanted to let you know um, I forgot that I wanted to put some onions on there so I did put some onions on there so when I pull it out you'll see some onions I have cut some fresh onions on there because that's what I wanted to do the first time so you guys it's up to you if you want to add a little onions and bell peppers uh, as the seasoning so that's what I did I add that um, and I put that on top of the chicken and uh, we still have it on, in the oven right now Right now, what I've done now is I'm putting on the um, the noodles for the, the mac and cheese. Okay, we got about eight more minutes. I just want you to get in this pot. That's for the mac and cheese. Had to turn that light off because I'm making it. I just wanted to see how cheesy it is. So we got about like seven more minutes now. So here we go. This is how we looking so far. This is how we looking so far. So I'm going to go ahead and let it cook for another 20 minutes with the top off. All right, you guys, now we're going to go ahead and baste this chicken. 
with this good old barbecue sauce. And um, I had to get my nephew to go ahead and assist me. Go ahead, uh, nephew, say a little something, something for the cameras. Try to her YouTube channel. All right. So. They're looking good. So we're going to let it, um, once we put the barbecue sauce on, we're going to allow it to cook with the barbecue sauce on each side for at least five minutes. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to baste the other side too. I'm going to let it cook for five minutes on this side and then five minutes on the other side. There you go. Okay, I'm on the other side right now. And I'm based the other side. About to let this stay in there for five minutes after that. And it is ready to go. So... I guess I'm going to call it my pomegranate barbecue wings because that's the name of the liquor. It's a pomegranate. So we are finished after five minutes of this <clears throat> heating up with the barbecue sauce. So just wanted to say, you guys, thank you for watching my channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and um. Uh, share with families or friends or anybody that like great recipes. That, um, as I get the ideas, I'm going to go ahead and go on and post them. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Ha at, you know, get your friends, your family members, and everybody subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get up to a 1,000 um, subscribers. Please help me out. And uh, so I'm going to call this my pomegranate barbecue wings. Okay, done in the oven. They're very tender. They're falling off the bone. So, <laughs> thank you for watching again. And this is New Orleans Baby Girl, a.k.a. Beautiful Sunrise Williams. I'll see you guys again with another amazing recipe um, sooner than later. As I get the ideas, they'll be posted, okay? Uh, please uh, subscribe, you guys. I need to get up to 1,000 um, 1, subscribers. Thank you.